Amazon slash Comixology today finally reestablished the ability to read comics on the web in what they're calling a beta. Let's take a look at it, give it an overview and initial review. All right, so a little earlier today, there was a flurry of tweets uh, out of Comixology, out of the Comixology Twitter account, talking about kicking off the long-awaited worldwide comics beta for the Kindle web reader. They talk about supporting two-page spreads. They talk about now including zoom in and zoom out, uh, double-clicking, allowing that zoom. There's a vertical scroll option, and you can enable and disable the beta as you see fit as well. Guided view is coming, and in the meantime, go ahead and check it out at read.amazon.com. So let's take a look at it. If you do go to the regular kind of Amazon Comixology site, what you can see now in order to get there easily, if you don't just go directly to read.amazon.com, there is a link that's called My Library. Clicking that takes you there. It's been a little while, honestly, since I've used this myself or accessed it much myself, so I can't say all of the things that are new or maybe changed. The web reader has always been pretty basic, but let's, if we focus on the comic aspects, of course, here, what we can see is over on the library, we now have the ability to see all titles, books only, or comics only. So we have a dedicated window into that. Right off the bat, one of the things that I couldn't find that this is going to need, hopefully real soon, is the ability to put this stuff into series. So as it is, comics shown are just a, a completely flat list. There's no grouping. There's no ability to do the, the customized grouping that you can do, say, in the Kindle apps that doesn't translate to the web reader, and there's no automatic series grouping, which is kind of a shame. You can search. So if I search for X-Men, here's my results. But I can't really customize the search results at all. It just kind of gives me, right, it gives me what it gives me. In terms of options, it's really pretty minimal. I can filter by basically my books or books that I'm specifically accessing through one of the now many layered Amazon subscription type services. So I can see things via Kindle Unlimited, Prime Reading, or Comixology Unlimited. I am a Comixology Unlimited subscriber as well as we're an Amazon Prime household. I don't have any unlimited comics checked out at the moment, otherwise they would show up when I did that filtering. I, th I do think Comixology Unlimited is a pretty decent value. There's quite a lot of books included in the service, and I subscribe to it really sometimes for nothing more than the discounts on the books that I do buy. $5.99, it pays for itself for how many uh, comics I usually purchase in a given month. We do have some sorting options. As you can see here, I'm sorted by title. We can flip this to be recent, which is recently accessed, um, as well as recently purchased. So new purchases would show up at the top of this list and then books that you've more recently accessed as well. We can search by author. I don't know necessarily how useful that might be for comic books since comic books have multi-layers of creators with writers and artists. So whoever's uh, designated as the author, I guess in this case the writer, is what you would see in terms of the sorting order. We can go directly to purchase order, which uh, again, similar to recent, but it doesn't bring in the element of what you might have opened and looked at, and then purchased order uh, reverse as well. That's all the customizations that we get here. Not a whole heck of a lot. We have the ability to look at the books both as a grid, which I'd say I would generally prefer, and a list. This is kind of lame. So with all of this extra real estate, you think they might show you something extra. Over to the right here, put in the synopsis, put the entire creator list, put the published publication date. You know, put, put some extra information in here. As it is, this is just dead space. It's white space, and it's really fairly useless. You don't really see anything more about the book than in, in the list view uh, than you see in the grid view. Hopefully that'll that'll come become more useful in, in the future as well. I do like the general presentation and, and kind of topography of this. I think it's interesting that Amazon went with a blue, uh, but the way the... The way the fonts and the selections and the highlights and the presentation, all of that stuff works, seems pretty nice to me. So thumbs up there. Um, if you click the cart, it does just basically take you back to the Amazon Web Store to shop. And if we hit the dot, 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 there's not, you'd expect to find maybe some other advanced settings or whatnot in here. 
There's really not. We've got help, terms of use, legal notices, privacy notice, contact us, and a sign out. So in any case, let's take a look at a book. Let's take a look at Batman, Curse of the White Knight. If I click on the book, we can see it opens up and I have a couple of options here. I can go back to my library. If I do nothing with the mouse and pause for a second, the, the banners do go away. And I'm using this here actually in Safari on my M1 16 inch MacBook Pro. Really great device for reading, awesome screen, nice six, big 16 inch screen. So it is nice to have all of the other trim go away if you put, in this case, Safari in like the full screen app mode and you have the top bar disappear unless you mouse uh, up to the top. You can get just your comic book pages surrounded by uh, blackness. I really like that. That's great. Uh, we see the Kindle logo in the current book that we're reading here. Not too many options. Again, this is a beta. It's brand new. It literally came out today. Um, I can set for a vertical scroll vertical scroll, excuse me, I'll show that off in a second. And here the dot, dot, dot allows me to jump around. I can jump to the cover. I can go to a certain page by number. Here's where we can disable the comics beta. I can see this book in the Kindle store, give feedback and all of that. I don't see a way to see like the page layout where I can see uh, all the pages of the comic itself. Kind of a shame, hopefully they bring that in. I can swipe to page, I can tap to page, and as you can see, of course, we do have here a two-page spread. There's no gutter, I would hope, or I would prefer, actually, uh, when I'm looking at two pages side-by-side side like this, generally on a screen that's wider than the pages would fill left to right, I'd like them to separate the pages. Give me like an eighth of an inch, a quarter of an inch, just something to give me a little bit of a gutter, a little bit of separation between them, so that there's just a visual difference between a two page spread or two individual pages and what would be, I guess, like a true two page spread. Curious if other folks might like that as well. I think to me, again, it just makes like a little bit better of a separation. I do have the ability to swipe, grab and swipe, jump with the kind of cursor, the down below there shows me my current page number. This is a graphic novel uh, collected edition. So I'm on page 61 of 266 here with a percentage 23%. In the Kindle platform, you do get things when you're reading books like uh, reading time and estimated time to complete. I haven't seen anything like that pop up in here. So maybe they'll another that's another thing they could bring over from reading the Kindle books. If we take a look at the vertical scroll, if I turn this on, notice right away the left and right kind of arrows went away. And if I page, I can kind of directly page through. Interestingly, I'm pushing to go once and it's, it's jumping too. So tapping to the right doesn't do anything. Tapping to the left, this is for, oh, they got a little bug there. I'm swiping up very lightly once to page and I'm getting, getting some jumpiness here. It's a beta, there's bugs to sort out. I'm actually not quite sure, I might actually like this mode. Particularly, I mean, specifically reading on a laptop like this, reading on a device with a touchpad, I think it probably is a whole lot more intuitive to scroll than it is to page. And it's a little more reliable, actually, if I make a longer, well, no, it's not. Okay, fix your bugs, Amazon, fix your bugs, Comixology, you got some work to do. So we're supposed to be able to zoom in, yep, there we go, and I can click and drag things around. Let's see if I tap again, nope. So one level of zoom, it's not, I wouldn't say, even that that big yet. Per the tweets, Guided View is coming. If you like Guided View, sound off in the comments. I've never been a fan of Guided View. I like looking at pages. I would much rather read my comics on big screens, uh, bigger screens, and see the entirety of a page. The context, to me, re reading whole pages or two-page spreads at a time, I feel like my comprehension and, and my enjoyment of a comic book just goes up significantly because my, the, the context is stronger for what I'm looking at. So sound off in the comments. Let me know how you, how you feel about guided view and multi-page spreads and all that. In my opinion, nothing beats Comixology, Web Reader on like a 43-inch monitor at your desk. I do have a 43-inch that I use as my kind of daily driver computer monitor. And man, comics are just, boom, they're, they're insane like that. So let's go back to the library. And if you watch some of my other digital comics videos, 
when the, the whole Amazon comiXology thing kind of first started, you'll see that I pulled up this book right here, the Frank Miller, Chris Claremont original Wolverine miniseries. This cover is very, very telling about book quality uh, because the blues in the gradients, if the book quality is low or the rendering of the quality is low, this cover is just aces for showing that because you'll get all kinds of like banding and ringing and noise and such in the picture. And I am very, very delighted to say that I find no problem with the quality of this cover in the web reader. That's phenomenal. Great job. Uh, amongst all the all of the hassle points and things that we've we've had with Amazon and Comixology about this merge and the changes and all the things that they've taken away and they're now trying to restore to some extent, the the really poor quality of the books at the outset of the whole endeavor was just, just so insanely disappointing. And I am very happy to say that these books really look great. Excellent, excellent. And yeah, this cover, I can find no fault in this cover. I see no problem in the blues, no problem in the gradients. Way to go, Amazon. This is interesting. This is starting to change the calculus a little bit. I, uh, despite the fact that there's a whole lot of features they can add to this, despite the fact that we had some navigational uh, funniness there, but I guess if you just maybe don't use the vertical scroll right now, so they sharpen that up, you could always just use the horizontal scroll. I kind of like this. Uh, and, and being able to read on my laptop, on a computer, again, bigger screen, two-page spread. I love it. I think that's that's a massive, massive plus for digital comics reading. I've been spending a lot of time, more time in Marvel Unlimited than in books that I've purchased. I have done a lot of curation, though, on my Comixology Amazon library of late, and I've still been buying collected editions and adding to it, kind of hedging my bets that this is the future of comic books and this is really what we're going to have. So I hope they make it good. <laughs> And in the meantime, I mean, if you really want to enjoy comics, you either do this, you buy from Amazon, you use Comixology. If you want to do it digitally, that is, of course, you go this route or you go DC, DC Universe or you go Marvel Unlimited. But that's only for Marvel and DC. So if you want to read a wider array of stuff, Amazon and Comixology is what we have. So have you taken a look at this? Sound off in the comments. Let me know what you think. And the next time news breaks and some more features are added... I will be back with another overview of the whole Amazon and Comixology platform. So overall, pretty good. Setting expectations that this is a beta, I think they did a pretty good job here. It's It's got good bones and it's, it's good steps, good first steps in the right direction. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Do all that regular YouTube stuff and come on back for more.